Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's kick off the new year right. Let's get into a luxury will I buy it. But here on my channel, we add a little French twist. So for collections we do want, we say oui. And for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Thank you for meeting me today, meeting me this morning at the mall. Let's get our steps in and go to all the different stores, see what's new on the market because will I buy it? Oui, non merci is a great way to see what's coming out on the horizon. What do we want to budget for? What do we want to spend our money on? First up, the account WayJ0315 listed down below. They have photos here of a new collection for Chanel for spring 2023. Now I'm confused because I was told that this was part of the Le Blanc collection. Every year around February, Chanel launches a Le Blanc collection. It's more lightweight, a little bit more ethereal, sometimes more pink, sometimes more purple, but sometimes it's, it's almost always just more lightweight and more sheer in coverage, but here it says that this is the Chanel Spring Collection, and I was told that the Spring Collection was the Rouge Allure Velvet that I'm wearing today. So who knows, there's conflicting information, it's confusing, this is not the first time it's happened. We will get a new eyeshadow quad here, this is number 68 Delice. Interesting, it's like purple and pink, but then a yellow and a brown. I'm curious if these will be pastels, if these will be very intense. I'm, I'm curious. And then here, allegedly, we're going to get a tweed blush. Now, I have a couple of the tweed blushes from a few years ago, and I've heard rumors that they're coming back this year. So this is a tweed blush for the collection here. It looks pink, it looks light. I'm guessing that the light part will have a little bit of a highlighter dimension to it. It has the interlocking CC logo looks absolutely gorgeous. Then we're going to get two Baume Essentiel. These are the multi-use highlighter sticks. They're like a bomb. One looks like a lavender and one looks more rosy. I'm really curious how lavender the lavender will be. I don't know if that's going to be for my skin tone, maybe more the pink one, but I wasn't always a fan of those and now I actually quite enjoy them. So interesting. looks promising. We also see here two of the Rouge Coco Balm. These are just like super tinted lip balms. They're very sheer, but they can be nice. And I, I, I love the packaging. I'm not gonna lie, I love the white and gold. I think it looks very fresh, very new. I absolutely love that. And so these colors here could be quite nice. And next to it are the Rouge Allure Ink. These are liquid lipsticks. I do like these. And it looks as though there is one balm and one liquid lipstick to match. Like there's a pink and then more of a darker, slightly reddier one. So you could buy one balm and one liquid lipstick if you wanted to be matchy matchy. I think the colors look cute. This, These are promo photos, so they might look very different in person. However, just off the bat, I think these look nice. And then interestingly enough, they also are adding some of these waterproof eyebrow pencils. Now this, this exists before, but Perhaps they're adding new shades. There's a 814, 816, and a 318, or 818, I'm not sure. So they could just be adding different tones, lighter, darker, things like that. So it's interesting to add that to the collection. I'm guessing that the eyebrow pencils are permanent and everything else might be limited edition. I'm guessing that the eyeshadow and blush, limited edition, and then the lip products might be permanent. I'm not sure about the highlighter sticks, but Overall for me, it's a wee. It's a big wee for me. This says here that it's launching February 10th. I'm not sure if that's in Asia, if that's in the US, in Canada. I have no idea. I am confused because I thought that this was Le Blanc, maybe it's spring, who knows? Time will tell, but for me, I think this is a wee. I am most intrigued by the blush, first and foremost. That's the one that is calling my name. Maybe some of the lip products, maybe some of the highlighter sticks, and maybe the eyeshadow as well. I'm just a little bit thrown off by the color story. It doesn't look super spectacular. Like it looks nice, but I'm not like, wow, that color story is just so harmonious and beautiful. So I'm like, mm, maybe, peut-être, maybe on the eyeshadow. But overall, the collection is a wee for me. I like pink and purple for spring. 
I don't care that it's not revolutionary. I like pink and purple for spring, so that is that. Moving on to the NARS Spring Makeup 2023 collection. This is the Orgasm collection. They always call them that. Sometimes they have different names, but this is it here. And if I'm not mistaken, this is available for sale. So I will include some links below. As stated, I like a pink for spring. So I like the packaging. I think that it's cute. This like baby pastel pink. This looks like a cheek palette here. I'm guessing on top, this is going to be, it says it's an orgasm face palette. So I'm guessing the top is highlighter, the bottom is blush, and depending on your skin tone, you could be, that one looks like a blush bronzer maybe, but in my experience, you can also use these as eyeshadow if you want. I really didn't used to be a big face palette person or a large eyeshadow person, but I've been testing out different NARS palettes and they're actually really great, so who would have known? Um, this is the Orgasm eyeshadow palette. Now again, I'm not a huge eyeshadow palette person, but I've tested out a few of their larger palettes, especially the Climax from a few fall ago, like a few fall seasons ago, and that one was gorgeous. And this is a nine shadow palette. It looks very neutral. It looks like you have a couple of pinks, but like very neutral, earthy. This looks like a great everyday palette. This looks just like very versatile. It looks like a workhorse palette where you just have like your very everyday basic but more elevated very nice in my experience their shadows tend to be very creamy and very buttery and just very nice to work with so i'm basing it off of past knowledge and i like that there's a little bit of some peachy colors but not like just peach and pink so it looks like a nice balance and then we have two blush sticks we have the orgasm rush and orgasm now i've heard that the liquid blushes from nars are great so i might test those out this year but i have not tried their blush sticks i appreciate that this collection is concise it's small it's just a handful of products instead of bombarding us with everything i like that i know orgasm is like a peachy pink i'm not sure if orgasm rush it kind of looks a bit more rusty like an, a red rust color so i haven't tried orgasm in that many different formats like i think the powder one is fine it's not my favorite i know everyone like a lot of people love the orgasm blush for me it's like meh i find this very glittery it doesn't have enough color to it so maybe the blush stick is different this one here is a maybe honestly the eyeshadow palette is the one item that's calling to me the most which i know is shocking but Maybe, but that. But I think the aesthetic of the collection is very nice. I like how small it is, and I just appreciate the packaging. I think it's very sweet, very cute, and very, very spring. Now, moving on to Hermes for the spring release. Speaking of small, concise, appreciated collections, this is the Hermes Spring Summer 2023, and these are just three lipsticks. I believe these are three satin finish, and the first one here, 06, is Corail Parasol, so coral parasol, like under the sun. Number 22, Brun Yachting, so a, a yachting brown, if you're going on a yacht somewhere in Miami or the Mediterranean or somewhere very chic like that. And then we have number 10, Beige Croissette. I'm not really sure what that means, to be honest. Uh, it's going to be a beige, a nudie color. When I googled croissette, I sort of came up with some Louis Vuitton bags. So maybe it's a reference to a bag, to a beach, to a tropical destination. That is the vibe that I'm getting, you know, Mediterranean, yachting, parasols. Must be something about the beach and being out in beautiful weather. I think the packaging for this is interesting because typically we've always seen solid, like solid bands on the lipsticks here, but here we have solids and stripes. And if you notice the first two, the yellow and the red, the dark red, it's solid and then stripe on the bottom. And then the last one is striped and then solid at the bottom. That must mean something different. Maybe it's more metallic, maybe it's more sheer, but I imagine there must be some significance with the difference in the color banding. There must be, maybe not, maybe it just happened, but I would think there's something to be noted there. But let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of these colors. So we have a coral and then the two last ones are more brownie beiges. Let me know what you think about those shades. For me personally, I think those colors 
are going to be a no merci for me. I love Hermes. I have a couple of their lipsticks and they're gorgeous, but I like more of the red or more, more color to be honest. Like these ones, they look nice, but I'm just not really in a nude lipstick mood. The weather's so cold. I want something a bit brighter to, you know, wake me up a bit. So for me, Hermes Spring will be a no merci for me. Now, I have something here from Christian Dior that's interesting. This is just a standalone blush. It's the new Dior Rouge Blush 468. And it's interesting because the band around, like it has, it looks like a ribbon of Christian Dior. It must be for some sort of collection here. And this photo here makes it look like it's going to have not quite a matte finish, maybe a satin with a soft blend of a highlighter to give it that luminosity. I'm not sure exactly. It looks like a nice peachy pink. And I have heard that Dior is reformulating all of their blushes this year. I'm not certain when this turnover will begin, when this new leaf of blushes is starting. Perhaps the spring, maybe summer, I don't know, but I'm guessing this is a part of the new formulation. It does look like certain blushes from the brand. They have a lot of the peachy pink colors like a rose montagne, which is really nice, but do I need this? Probably not. I mean, no, I think I'm going to wait for the, the new formulation of the permanent blushes to come out and then I'll try those because I'm excited because it's Peter Phillips and I love Peter Phillips. So personally, I think this... Uh, random new limited edition blush will be a no merci for me. I think it looks nice, I think it looks pretty, but no, no merci. I'm wondering if it's meant to be part of this uh, Mitza collection, which we have touched on before. This is the spring collection for Dior, and here are some like real life photos. So if you look at the leopard print packaging, the band looks like it could be similar to this blush here. But I think that if they came out with a blush, a standalone blush for the Mitza, I think there would be more leopard print in the packaging, don't you think? I think so. So we've touched on this before, but here are some like real life in the flesh photos and swatches. I think this large palette to me actually looks interesting. I think it looks cool. The swatches look really nice. All of the swatches look very buttery and very opaque. Nothing looks dry, nothing looks like a topper. It looks really, it looks interesting. I know. I'm shocked. New year, new me. We also have um, this single here called Iconic Muse. This, it looks reminiscent to the large palette. So I would get one or the other, not both personally. But again, the, the palette looks nice. I love the quality of Dior eyeshadows. They're just, they're great. I haven't come across one of their new formulations that I haven't enjoyed. So... It's a wee for me. I'm not gonna get the five shadow palette and the big palette, one or the other, but it's a wee. Speaking of eyeshadows, we have something here from Byredo. This is the new State of Emotions eyeshadow five colors. So this should be available as well. So there will be a link somewhere. Interesting. I'm guessing this is spring 2023. I don't have any more information of its limited edition or anything like that, but this is, Lucia Pica. So Lucia Pica used to be for Chanel, now she's for Byredo, and guess what? They have red eyeshadows. Haha, <laughs> it's your it's your burden now, Byredo. So this does look nice. I do like the gold, and in the palette, this looks like you get some rose gold and some plummy colors, but I'm guessing it's gonna be nothing but red eyeshadows for Byredo now. Enjoy. The swatch here is not like a human flesh swatch. It looks like it was swatched on a piece of white paper. So it's hard to tell exactly, but they all have a sort of rust red quality to them. I'm curious to see how these would look in the flesh on a human being, because if you look at the palette again, it does look like it has like, it does look like everything is going to have a little bit of a satiny or metallic finish, which is nice. And the last two shades, like the very last one, that's like a cranberry color looks nice. And the one before it, I think looks really pretty. It could be a beautiful a shimmer color. So interesting, but I need to swatch this in person. I'm leaning more towards 
no merci, but that's just, you know, I, I really haven't dipped into Byrito and I'm traumatized from Lucia Pica. Sorry, not sorry. I just don't want to see red eyeshadow palettes for every single season, in my opinion. Don't come for me. And then last but not least, we have something new here from NARS. So this is their skincare line. Now, technically here in Canada, we got this in 2022, like I think in the summer maybe, like their skincare line has existed for a long time from NARS and then they did a revamp, but they did a revamp in 2022 in Canada. But apparently in the US, it's coming out new this year. Anyway, I have used NARS skincare for several years. Back when I started my channel several years ago, I used their toner for quite some time. Like I, I repurchased their toner a lot. It's like the Light Reflection Multi-Action Treatment Lotion. It's incredibly hydrating. It feels like a gel. So it just feels like you're adding like a gel water layer to your skin. I love their toner. I think it's great. It's super moisturizing, super hydrating. If you have dry, dehydrated skin, mature skin, even normal skin in like colder, harsher climates, I think their toner is great. They mentioned here the light reflecting firming serum, the light reflecting moisturizer, and the light reflecting eye and lash gel. Interesting. Oh, it's like a treatment for your eyelashes or your eyes? Wait, I'm confused. Is it like a treatment for your eyelashes or eyebrows? Or is it for your eyes and you can put it on your lashes? Well, that's confusing. I definitely am, am interested, confused, intrigued by this one. But the Light Reflecting Moisturizer, I have tried out. I think it's nice. It's good for, it's almost like a gel texture. So in the summer, it was great for me. I wouldn't use it now for winter. I want something a bit more heavy duty, a bit more nourishing. Uh, but in the summer, the moisturizer was nice. It's like a lightweight gel texture. So if you like a lightweight gel texture, the light reflecting moisturizer is nice. So for me, technically the NARS collection is a wee because I've already used most of this and I think it's good. I would repurchase again. So it's a wee for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried NARS skincare. Their skincare line is very small, very basic, which is nice. It's not super overwhelming. And on that note, I think we've done our full lap around the mall. We've gotten our steps in. Let me know what you think of these new releases, these new collections. We have a lot of makeup coming out on the near future. I mean, of course we do. There's always a million new makeup releases. That's why I like to do these videos because it's hard to keep perspective of what's coming out, what's, what's new. So sound off down below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear what you think. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I do post these types of videos every now and then, every week or two. So if you would like to know what's new on the market, be in the know, make sure you hit subscribe and leave a comment as well. That engages with my channel and then YouTube will push my video out to more people. And on that note, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.